Hey, how's everybody doing? I want to welcome you to Gary Brown Forging On. Uh, thanks for watching the video and I hope you get a chance to subscribe and like it. I'm doing a product review today. I know my, my site's mainly about forging and welding and different uh, kinds of metal work, but um, I wanted to talk about my tripod I'm used for my videos. And it's worked out pretty well. You can. This is a Dyson D A I S E N camera tripod uh, octopus. They call it, and you're an octopus, so you can flop it around, do whatever you need to do, bend it however you want to bend it. So far, this has worked really well. It's very dirty, as you can tell. I've actually had this for over uh, a month. And I've been using it out here in the shop, so that's why it's so dirty. I hold it in my hands, and my hands are always dirty out here, and so it just rubs off. These black parts in here are plastic, hard plastic. All the black is hard plastic. And then the white rubber around here is actually a soft rubber. So it's easy to grip, feels comfortable in your hand. It's got this white rubber is softer on the bottom, too. And I have had no problems with it falling out. It is so light, I don't know, it may blow over if you're out in the real gusty conditions, but you can always wrap it around something if you get that way. Or just really, you know, fold it way out so it would be real hard to blow it over. But it's, the legs are really stiff. Everything works out really well with it. Fits in my hand pretty good, but I, I have a 2XL size glove hand, so I, my hands are pretty good size. <clears throat> But, you know, I, I can carry it like this, like a selfie stick. If your hands are smaller, you can carry two. You know, you can carry one. It's all good. Sorry if you're hearing a lot of background noise. This is a metal building. I've got insulation in the walls. I still haven't gotten the ceiling yet. And it's pouring rain. We have a 100% chance of rain today. So it's just, it's uh, kind of noisy in here. I've set up my microphone so it's right here in my mouth. Uh, I've... I've Try to record this before and it's it keeps getting drowned out by all the background noise hopefully this will work better back to this this is this tight uh, dyson d-a-i-s-e-n tripod has a quick disconnect for your shoe up here you see that you push that in and your shoe slides out and then this part here grips the foam and you can take the shoe off just unscrews in the back the screw and it'll fit onto a DSLR camera or anything you want to. Also, this has a thing in the back, so if you want to go vertical with your camera, I prefer landscape for videos, obviously. And uh, and then it just snaps back in. And it's everything's pretty sturdy. It it will come apart if you pull real hard on the top. And it's got this this like band coming around here that puts pressure on it and you can push it back on and it's fine I've never had it, excuse me I've never had it come off and uh, I've been using it I said for over a month and everything's been working really well I have had no problems that whatsoever with this uh, it's a Dyson tripod it comes with a couple extra things in the box it has a little lanyard and a fob for taking selfie pictures and this works off of Bluetooth, and it comes with a little paper diagram. This lanyard, which you can put around your neck, and you push a little silver button, and this ring comes off. So you can have it around your neck, but say if you're, you know, want to take a picture of, of yourself or, uh, or family or a group of people, you can take this off, hold it down in your hand with your fob hooked to it, take your picture. And that way you don't have to worry about how you're going to snap it. And it goes around your neck, like I said. And then this, just you push that button in, and it clips back in there. So it's got those little ears going around there. When you push the button in, those little ears go in on the side here. So that's it for the lanyard in this piece. has that. The fob itself has two buttons. If you can read that or not, it says camera 360 on the big button on the top, and it says Android on the little button at the bottom. It's got an on off switch on the side, just slips up and down. And when you turn it on, this little blue light comes on, 
and that blue light, uh, when it comes on, it's just doing a um, Bluetooth connection. I made the mistake of turning this on in a previous video I was trying to film of this, and when, it, when I turn this on, it stopped the recording, I guess, to make the connection. So I'm not going to turn it on right now. And um, But it, it connected fine with my phone. My phone's an LG K20, I think. It's not an expensive phone. But I use it for all my videoing. Uh, probably eventually I'm going to switch over. And, and if this kind of starts working out and I get some people to subscribe and like my channel, uh, hope you do. Hope you subscribe down below. Like it. Dislike it. Tell me if you uh, uh, put in the comments if you know what you use for a tripod. But I tried this out, and according to their document here, keep the light from coming through. According to the document here, it's mainly for it says for you know Apple and Android both, the top larger button, bottom one, and then some specifications, and then on the back here. Yeah. On the back, uh, quick how to Bluetooth set it up. Has this go to Google Play or the App Store, and you download this Camera 360 app. And so I went out and that the Google Play, it's a free app. I downloaded Camera 360, the full version, and it was um, about 47 meg, yeah, maybe 48, somewhere in that range. And it's one of those apps, you know, your kids will use to take selfies, put. And whiskers on and tongues and ears and do all that weird stuff. Uh, I could probably use that on my face to pretty it up a little, but uh, I'm not going to be taking selfies to goof around like that. That's you know, more for the kids. I may leave it on there for my kids, but uh, but the, the last one here, oh, what I was going to say about this, the same image, when I downloaded it, it also had a camera 360 Lite, L-I-T-E. And it was only about seven or eight meg. And it's just the camera. It gets rid of all that weird other stuff. So I downloaded both of them. Turn on the camera 360 light. Turn on the Bluetooth, connected, took picture, fine. I turned it off, the camera 360. I turned it off and turned on my regular. I use just the app that came with my camera for taking these videos and for taking pictures. And uh, once I Bluetooth to this and I got my app up, I could take I could push these buttons. And either either button on here, the top or the bottom, it'll take a selfie picture or take a picture. Not necessarily a selfie, but it'll take a picture. Which might come in handy if I'm out on vacation or out, you know, side or something and I want to take a picture. I could put things on the tripod, stand back, hold this in my hand, it's small enough you can't see it, hit the button, take the picture, nobody would know. Has a little diagram here. Apparently, this outside row is for the camera 360 button. The inside one's for the Android button, the smaller button. This one shows for everything. And this top section is your Apples. This is your Galaxy. And this down here is your um, this other Androids. So it says, you know, all of them do the camera 360. Then it shows for that Android button. Apparently, it's got a larger picture here. So I'm, saying, I'm assuming if you have an Apple, you can do a lot more functions with that bottom button. Probably what I'd like to do, but I don't have it. If you have a Galaxy, it says, uh, you know, Galaxy S2, S3, S4 Plus, Notes, Tablets, Moto X, Nexus, blah, blah, blah. Um, that's the middle section. has some functionality. And then if you see all other Androids down here at the bottom, uh, doesn't even have an image down there. It says, you know, not use. But I just have regular Android, and the bottom one took a picture, top one took a picture. I was hoping to be able to start recording or pause recording or do something be able to reprogram this fob to do what I wanted it you know for videos and making these videos for my YouTube channel and I my phone I couldn't get it to do it so I but it works with my regular phone app so I may just get rid of both of the camera 360s I, you know I you know they're taking up space on my phone so I'll I'll leave it out there for now, but right in, but most likely I'm just going to get rid of that camera 360 unless unless I can figure out a way using that app to do videos and then um, uh, pause them with this because that'd be real handy if you're doing videos. But for taking pictures, it's not a little bad little device. I'll hang on to it and use it. Like I said, it comes with a lanyard if you want it. Just put that in your pocket or put it on the lanyard. 
the Dyson tripod, it's light, very light, it's sturdy, and it's the legs are stiff enough that I haven't had any issue with bending it, setting it however I want. If it's not quite level, I can just you know tweak a, one of the legs and then I just smash it back together and I can take off with it. So I, I I've had no problems at all with this. The only issue I've had with these jaws here is if my camera fits in there, fine. No problem at all. I don't know what this thing opened up to. Um, closed, it's about two inches, maybe a little, two inches to inside and outside of these raised jaws in here. If you put it on the insides, you can get maybe another eighth of an inch or something. Um, but fully open, with mine, it'll it'll fit in there, but it's opened up quite a ways, almost fully out. When I first started using it, I was using my case. And I bought this case off Amazon. I'll link it below. I get a lot of people ask me about this case. They really like it. They'll see me walk through the store. This all clipped to my side. And they'll ask me, uh, you know, where did I get that? I think there's like the blue with the tree picture. Comes with a little clip. It's in there, snaps in on my belt. <clears throat> this part comes off, and it's a protective soft rubber piece. And I've dropped my camera. I'm not really doing a review on this, but I'll talk about it. I dropped my camera uh, from about you know waist height out on the asphalt and land on the corner, and it didn't hurt it any. So I was really glad I had this. But it just snaps on there. It's got kind of a raised back here and has one of those little tripod things. <clears throat> I'll put a link to this. I bought my daughter one, same the same ones, but it's got a red background. It had all kind of different colors. This is a third party company, I forgot who makes it, but I'll put a link to it when I'll go back and research it. And then um uh but they had I got her a red one. I got this one. They had a, a whole bunch of different ones and these are for the LG phones. And I think they make them for other phones too, uh, you know, other style phones. But been a worthwhile case. I really have enjoyed it. But anyway, I'll link that, and I'll link this. And overall, I am very pleased with this. And I think it was it was less than twenty dollars. I think it might have been fifteen. I can't even remember. I'll, I'll, it's, just follow the link below, and and you can take a look at it. But I hope this was helpful to you. And hopefully, if you're like me, and you know, if you want to do a YouTube channel and or just make videos, or if you just want to do selfies, but you want one of these kind of tripods uh, to carry around with you and be able to bend and wrap around a tree branch or whatever you need to do, uh, it's a pretty good option. And then later on, if you you know want to get into a bigger, more expensive one, that's fine. So please subscribe, like, and if you uh, and I'll, like I said, I'll put the links to both of these below. You can follow those and and see if you you know are interested in. It. Leave me a comment. Let me know you know what. You know, what, you know, what kind of tripod do you use? Um, I've got a selfie stick, too, that's got a button on it that's supposed to be Bluetooth. And I haven't programmed it yet. I actually got it before I got this phone, so uh, I need to get it out sometime and try it. But I haven't, I, I used it for my first, I used it on my first video. I actually stood it up like a tripod. It's before I got this one. But this has been a really good tripod. So thanks for watching, and y'all have a blessed day. Bye-bye.